Today I'm talking about upgrading and revamping the entertainment system in this RV. Please. That is friggin' fantastic. Wow, that sounds so good in here. I have a funky halo effect above my head. Ah. Hey, what's up? It's me and today. The RV has a DVD player. It's got a cool surround system in here. Speakers right there. There's a speaker. There's one back here. It's three of them right up there where the camera is. It's got a DVD player, the surround, but I'm more of an Apple TV guy, so I wanna hook up the Apple TV. Now the problem is the newer Apple TVs only have a, they look like this on the back. Can you even see that? No, you can't. There's a, there's a power connector. Then you got your uh, HDMI and you got uh, some kind of, um, I guess it's like an ethernet port or something like that. No more optical ports on the newer generation of the Apple TVs. So all you have to work with is the HDMI out. So what I've decided to do is output the HDMI out into this, which is a, which is a uh, Sony, what is this thing? AV tuner, home theater system, five in one, thousand watt amp. And this has the full five in one out right there. And then it's got a bunch of HDMIs over here. So my plan, I don't know if it's gonna work, my plan is to uh, pipe in the Apple TV HDMI, break out all the sound components for the five and one right there, and then do an out to the TV for the picture component. And then, you know, maybe as a side benefit, I can play radio through this or similar, but uh, we're about to find out how this works out. For this process, I got myself a short HDMI cable to go from the Apple TV into the AV unit. And then more importantly, I'll drop links for all these down in the description below, by the way. More importantly, I have this set of connectors. So what this is, is uh, those ports at the, in the back of the AV unit. If we can get this to focus on there, can we? I'm too close. Anyway, they have the uh, connector for the back of the AV unit. And then there's these two nice little alligator clip style things to connect the wire in because basically I just have wires going at the back of the DVD currently. And uh, this will help facilitate getting uh, the outputs out of the uh, AV unit and into the surround system. Here we go. They're all color coded. Like I said, I have no idea if this is going to work, but let me spin the camera around so you can see uh, the uh, space that I'm dealing with here. All right, so this is the uh, cabinet that houses the DVD player. Here's the HDMI that goes to the TV. This is the DVD player power supply. But this is what I was talking about. There are a slew of these uh, color-coded wires going into the back of the um, DVD player here. And these are the ones that we're now going to put into those alligator clip thingamajingers. And then we will uh, pull the DVD player out of here and replace it with that AV unit. So starting on the end here, it looks like we've got the white wires. We'll get the corresponding white color coded one here. And I'm just going to do this in a way so that I don't get confused what wire goes where. I'm going to do them one at a time. Come on, get in there, get in there. Oh, there we go, there we go. You gotta push on the front of these, I didn't realize that. Okay, white, connected. Next, looks like red, color coding red. Red's done, next one, green, green. Okay, green's in. What's that next one? Purple. There it is, purple. Got 
God, it's raining so hard today. All right, purple is in. Blue, blue. All right, and gray. Gray. All right. A DVD player, gone. Anybody want a DVD player? Write in the comments that you want the DVD player and I will send it out to somebody once I hit 20 comments on the clip. So we got all those wires on there. I don't know, but I've got a couple DVDs. What do I do now? Freaking order the movie on iTunes. That's what you do now. Here's a remote. I have no idea where that goes. Maybe for the surround sound, I don't know. Okay, so the one heading to the TV has got to go into this AV unit, TV out. So the one on the very end here is the TV out one. We will plug that in. Boom, that's in. Then from the Apple TV into, well, let's pick one. There's none back here called the Apple TV, but there is game in. What else we got? What are our options? Game in, BD, DVD, SAT, CATV. Eh, we're just gonna go game in. Sorry, that's that one. And this is that one. There's our Apple TV connected. And now, back here, we have the whole slew of other connectors. Now we're just gonna color code these suckers in here. Okay, I see red. So we're gonna go on that one. Do these even fit? God, I sure hope so. It better fit. All right, yeah, that's on. That's red. What's next? What is that, white? Red and white, then comes gray. Then there's blue. This better be awesome. Purple and green. They do sell cheaper wire sets, but they don't have the cool uh, clip-on thingies up there. That's basically it. We need the power supply for the Apple TV. That's in. Oh, that's for the TV. Ooh, I'm gonna need a uh, like a surge protector or something because I'm plugging in two things and there's only one outlet left. Let's unravel this cord over here. Oh, you know what? There's actually a, an outlet down here where I might be able to at least try it out. All right, let's just try this. I'm gonna plug this in. All right, there we go. Sort of. Okay, that just powered up. Now, where's the Apple TV remote? Game, okay. Something's happening. Ooh. Check it out. Okay, backing up a little. Ooh, I think it's coming through. All right, things are looking good here. I'm gonna play a little clip from uh, Ed Sheeran. I'm gonna have to uh, knock the audio out on this though because otherwise I will get a copyright infringement. So you won't hear Ed Sheeran. Yes! That is friggin' fantastic. Wow, that sounds so good in here. That's a success, that worked. Now I just have to figure out a way to run the wires so that uh, everything can neatly reside up in there. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. Couple wires, reconnect, get yourself one of these AV boxes. Nice eBay purchase, cheap. It was like, I don't know, 60 bucks or something like that. There's your surround sound. Use your existing uh, setup, have at it. All right, cool, that's it, end of video. Enjoy more videos on RV upgrades and fiddling with electronics and such. Uh, I've done a full tour of this RV uh, previously, so you can go to that corner, I think. I'm gonna put a video link up there. 
you want to check out the full tour, but hit the like button if this has helped you out, all right? Thanks. Thanks, guys. Take care.